Don't let your kids watch it. Betty, Betty, Betty. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Matt Givens, back with another video. So, as y'all can see by that title, today, yo, girl will be reacting to Kevin Samuel's Savage Moments. Now, y'all, I am extremely excited to be reacting to this video today because I'm not gonna lie, like, I am not against Kevin Samuels. Now, I can't say that I am for everything that he says, you know what I'm saying? But I can't say I'm against it either, okay? Like, it honestly does depend on the situation and the, per and the person and what they have going on. And I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm here for taking accountability, but do not act like y'all men are off the hook, okay? Because the same rules apply and the same rules follow, okay? So y'all need to be real with yourselves too, and that's all I'm gonna say. But I'm excited to see it because I know my man does not hold his tongue, so I already know it's gonna go crazy, y'all. I know y'all excited too, so let's go. Here we go. Children can come out of whatever I do. I can be 70 years old, and as long as I'm not shooting blanks, I can make babies. You can't. <laughs> oh, oh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, because he already came in hot. And you know what's so crazy? Like, I ain't even trying to expose. <laughs> I'm not even trying to expose. Y'all understand me, my friend? But I weirdly, like, this is so weird because he just said that I weirdly, weirdly just met a 70-year-old man who had a 14-year-old daughter. Like, he was talking, because, you know, y'all, okay, I'll be going to the old school bars. I ain't going to lie. You know what I'm saying? I'll be trying to shoot pool kick with my people. Y'all don't be knowing me for real, okay? Maddie G is late in real life. But anyways, y'all, I literally just met a 70-year-old man at the bar, and he was telling me how he has a 14-year-old daughter. That's his only child, like, and she's spoiled, like, spoiled rotten. And it was just very interesting. Like, I don't know, y'all. It's, it's very interesting. Men are interesting. But anyways. The reason why this, um, I became a lottery technician is because there's something called a paramedical insurance exam. Get the oh, fuck off my phone, bitch. I don't get the phone. Get, go take blood, boy. Came you and look a job where people quiet in the background. <laughs> Not the music. Not the music. Have you watched one of my videos? A three-hour video from front to back. That girl situation when he was ranking. That okay, you're not paying attention. When he was what? Talk to him. I'm have you watched one of my videos? Have you watched a full video of mine from front to back? One, one of my live streams. I just saw, I just saw one video. Um, was it the whole? I think it was a whole video of some girl when you when you were. He was ranking her. He asked her what her what. what he her asked ranking. her what she ranked herself. I have a full three-hour show that I do, and you watched a seven-minute clip. I challenge you and your friend to go back to my channel That's and watch the full so 30 minutes. Ah, oh, nah, so see, I'm not going to do this. Hey, y'all, he crazy. Like, let me say, this man look too, for, too cool for school. You know what I'm saying? I hope that his shades is not tinted. You know what I'm saying? In the house. But that's another subject. That's what I'm saying, boy. Don't be trying to cut for all these women when you really capitalize it off of, off of us. You know what I'm saying? You really capitalize it. So don't act like our energy like literally we are putting money into your pocket like that's whole, what your whole topic is on women like you know what i'm saying men always try to act like doo -dee -doo -dee -doo -dee -woo -dee -woo. at the end of the day we need each other like i'm not gonna say like oh it's this this that and the third like no we need each other okay we both benefit but personally let me just say this i'm not gonna sacrifice my time to go watch no strange dude that i don't know either talk about women like you know what i'm saying what made him who gave this man the credibility that's what i want to know put his credentials down below because i want to i want to figure it out and i need more than a college degree i said more yeah exactly see this see, and this I'm is the problem you but 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 you haven't even you haven't even responded to what i said you haven't even watched the full video of where the excerpt was coming from and then but your friend has the nerve to make a judgment that women have no problem judging men on partial information Please stop but when being a man women. Please. and you act, you women are acting just like so many women who get upset you have little to no information you're not willing to do the work to ask you certain questions and what you're responding to i'm responding back to it so you're you're referring to past videos but i'm referring to things that you're telling me now okay i can understand where he's coming from like you know what i'm saying it's speaking on stuff when you don't know like the full story you know what i'm saying but even when she's speaking on like shoot like she is right there right now so it's like might as well just catch her up on game you know what i'm saying or if you're not doses like it's simple but you don't even let me you don't even let other people talk you're asking me how old i am you're generalizing women you, buddy? no we haven't had sex okay why 
Because I don't get, I'm stingy. I'm stingy with the, with the books. I know that's me? right. I'm stingy with it. I do not give it up easily. Were you married to your, were you married to your daughter's, your, your baby mama, though, right? Baby, I've never been married, no, but I just okay, don't. So let, I know. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let, let's talk about this, though. See, um, I find it funny that women like yourself, baby mamas, all of a sudden want to get stingy with the puss after you didn't gave you a womb up before a ring. Ooh. But then you want the high value men to put a ring on it before he gets it? Who am I supposed to give it away? You got them. Yo, okay. Hold up. Right, you already did. Because here's the thing. See, that's what I mean. <clears throat> Man, you're a used vehicle wanting brand new 2021 prices. <laughs> Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now he called her a used vehicle. Okay, I am not against what he's saying because I do understand. Now, let me just say this. Okay, well, this is the same thing for men too. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with men who have kids too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to deal with nobody in a thousand baby mamas? Like, don't nobody deal with that. The same reason a man wouldn't want to deal with a female and a thousand baby daddies. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I can understand what he's saying by, you know what I'm saying, you didn't value yourself at the time to get married before you had your child. Now, let me just say this before y'all come for me. A lot of people don't believe in marriage. Some people don't believe in marriage, so you can't really use that. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, like, you do learn as you go along, like, with life. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, I understand what it's like to be a kid and have a child mindset. You know what I'm saying? And you don't think things, you know what I'm saying? And then situations occur, you just can't go back. Like, personally, though, I ain't got no kids and I ain't got no baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I can still talk my little mess, baby, because I'm, okay. <laughs> You can laugh all you want to, ma'am, but you just said six months. You're not even exclusive. You're talking about he's marriage-minded. What do you think he's inserting his penis? In his hand? No, that's the thing. He could be inserting it somewhere else. Exactly, because here's the thing. Men with options don't play these games. Mm. Okay. Hello? All right. You were saying, do I, do I want to hear about your original plan? Okay. No, and I will tell you why. You're not doing it. You're doing what you have to do to survive and live. Mm. Okay? Okay. So your original plan, it doesn't matter. It, can, it does if it can change, uh, change my situation. Okay. Go ahead. Since you know okay, better so, than I do. No, I, I, nobody ever said that. Okay, but anyway. Uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, go ahead, dude. <laughs> the reason why this, um, I became a phlebotomy technician is because there's something called a paramedical insurance exam. I'm not sure if you heard about, about, about that. It doesn't basically. matter. Go ahead. I don't. I don't have to. Are you done? Go ahead. All right. Thank you. All right. Look at me. Don't be a bitch. Oh, I don't be a bitchy boy. Get the fuck off my phone, shit. bitch. I don't get the phone. Get, go take blood, boy. Came. Okay, you in a little job where people quiet in the background. <laughs> keeping the same energy you know what i'm saying it's not just women you know it's everybody so you know i respect it i respect that he keeps the same energy you know what i'm saying i respect the fact that mentally he's on the same you know what i'm saying it ain't changed he keep the same rules and regulations with everybody well kevin uh, mr samuel it seems i'm just i have a question do you date 30 year old women because you mentioned on the last show <laughs> and that is a question why yeah, I mean, if you're doing it, why would you say you're 50? Because, okay, 50. first off, let's, how about, how, how, let's, okay, you want to answer that question? It's a double standard. Mm. Just like you can stay at home while I got to go work. If I was at home and you work, people would look at me a certain way. This is a double standard that's been with us since time immemorial. Mm. Children can come out of whatever I do. I can be 70 years old, and as long as I'm not shooting blanks, I can make babies. You can't. <laughs> hey, I don't care what you look like. So I don't. But, but, but I said no, no. I, I don't care what you look like. But before a woman's gonna sign off and become your missus, they're gonna check their pockets. Mm -hmm. So don't. So so, right. so if you honestly think, okay, you, you, here's the thing. Uh, and I don't know your first name. So what is it? Walter. Walter. If you would have, if you would have wake up tomorrow and be broke, how long do you think your wife would stay? Until I die. Okay. Hope hope that never happens to you. Hope you never. But that would be the first woman in here. But I went to the first woman. 
But what is, she, is your wife asleep or is she talking to me? No, she just walked up. She, I woke up. I'm not going. I'm not going to inject any difficulty into your marriage walk to do that. I got gray in my beard, gray on my head, and uh, what you saying does not comport with anything. Hey. I've ever <laughs> Hey, okay, let me just say this from a woman's standpoint, or at least from my standpoint, of why it is important for your man to have a little, a little moolah. You know, it is a stability, a stability thing. Because let's say, okay, if I'm pregnant for nine months, there's no guarantee that I can be pregnant and still working. Like, some women are on bed rest, you know. Some people have to literally cannot work throughout their whole pregnancy. You're talking about a whole nine months. Not only that, there you never know how your child is going to come out. You don't know if you're going to have to, you know, have medical proceed like there is a lot of depths into children and if you cannot afford that that means that either what i'm gonna have to either what like you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna have to work what eight times as hard like if i can even work if i physically can't work and you ain't got no money then what's gonna happen either the child's not gonna be able to get the right medical um the right medical attention because y'all honestly in america it is what it is people can say what they want but you need money the type of money that you have determines a lot about the type of life that you live the type of medical care that you have the type of um places you could try i mean there's a lot of debts in america that stops like money like money stops like a lot of stuff like it does like it literally affects the quality of your health regardless of what people say you can take the natural path and do all this this that and the third but everything costs money ain't nothing free you know what i'm saying unless you have a whole freaking garden in your backyard but you're still y'all it's a lot of depths unless you whatever but y'all see what i'm saying like it's like a it's like a i don't know like it's like a i don't know i'll talk more at the end but y'all hopefully y'all picking up what i'm putting down it's my living life you're a very good communicator. I know. Thank you very much. And that's why I said money is more than nice. It is required if you expect to have a woman, especially a woman of quality. Thanks. Define, you guys still haven't defined quality. Everyone's. All right. <laughs> See, I'm not going to go back and forth with hey, this. Hey, why he hang up on her? Don't See, this is part of the problem. Young man, this is a man who's sitting up in the house with a wife. You gonna sit there and tell you money's nice, but you know, if, you, if this, this dude is honestly trying to say, Miss Walter, your husband just said if he lost all his money, you'd be living right on the corner with it. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You in your older age, because I'm assuming y'all love the same age. This man has basically said if he lost it all, you'd be happy to be going living in that box with him until he said until he died. Ooh. Okay, so that's where he went wrong because he said until he died, like he wasn't gonna try to get some money. Now, here's my thing I don't mind staying down for your man at all. Like, I'm talking about ups and downs, and that's why I feel like a partnership should it should be like a partnership, you know what I'm saying? When you got it, we good, you know what I'm saying? Or if you down, I'm you know, I got it, I take over, you know what I'm saying? It should be like that, you know what I'm saying? Because we all gonna need somebody at some point, you know what I'm saying? And so, if a man is doing everything, providing, and you know what I'm saying, doing this, this, that, and the third, working hard, he's gonna need to take a break at some point, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if it's for a few days, a week, everybody deserves a break, you know what I'm saying? And you have to be a strong enough woman to be able to step in as well, not only know when he needs a break, but you know, acknowledge that, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate what he has done, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't just let your man work to the wheels fall off and you can't do the same thing for your women either like you know what i'm saying i feel like with relationships i don't even want to say 50 50 like i feel like it's 100 100 you know 50 50 is only half you want to you're supposed to give 100 percent, but basically um i feel like it should definitely be reciprocated in different ways whatever you guys feel like works for you you know what i'm saying if the man cooks and you the one cleaning or you know what i'm saying or whatever the situation is or if it's different it don't gotta work out to the rest of the world. It don't gotta be politically correct. It don't gotta be, you know, society's viewpoint of how a relationship should look like. It just has to literally work for y'all. Like, that's it. That's it. That's what he said. Until he died. <laughs> that's the energy you're getting. Because you're a guy that said you don't think you should have to approach women. They should give you choosing signals. Where would you rank yourself on a scale from one to 10? How tall are you? I'm five, 10. Five, 10, how much do you weigh? Mm. Mm. Oh, I weigh about two what? Depending on the day, between two eighty to two eighty five. So you're a fat fucker. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> so you think a five foot ten, almost three hundred pound dude? How much money you make? Like four hundred every two weeks. Oh, so you make four hundred every two weeks. So you make eight hundred a month. You make uh, less than ten thousand dollars a year. Okay. How many twenty year olds is hell? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Dude, I was a 20 year old and I was making far more money than that. In the 80s, a minimum wage was 3.35 an hour. So I need to hear. Now he said in the How 80s. Long? You got oh a big dick. Oh! I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron Jeremy. No, 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 no. I actually said a said big dick. I said it was James. above average. I don't oh, know what that is. You. Really. Uh, you know if you got a big dick got or not. You. Stop the bullshit. Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean, you don't have a big dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You're a big, you're a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosing singles at five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. And women should approach you. What they get? They don't even get a big dick. <laughs> my man's like that at the end he didn't even have to do him like that okay kevin samuels with the facts y'all that was crazy i honestly don't even know what to say like i'm not against what he's saying like you know what i'm saying he's being real honestly i operate best with people like that that keep it real that are like raw like you know what i'm saying they tell the truth raw because honestly y'all i feel like that's kind of what people lack in like a lot of people lack like strength like mental strength you know what i'm saying like back in the day people used to say all types of stuff you know what i'm saying and you just had to roll with it like you know you wouldn't sit there and start crying but it's like nowadays people can't even take accountability for who they are themselves like you know what i'm saying so i'm not really against his style you know what i'm saying i would say it is a little harsh for those that aren't like strong enough to like really you know grasp what he's saying for those that literally don't take it personally and understand that it's kind of like based off society's viewpoints and stuff like that like you know what i'm saying it's definitely some truth and i could say like i'm not saying that if he does one of these calls with you you know what i'm saying or if you're on the call like don't take it to heart and like start like hating yourself or you know what i'm saying like you really just have to live for what works for you but also don't be confused or surprised as to why you know you're not getting the women or you're not getting the men like you know what i'm saying so i could say like definitely listen to him but i'm not saying take it and run with it you know what i'm saying you still have to do what works best for you and i believe that there are always 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 exceptions to the rules y'all so like that's just life like i said i'm not against him like you know what i'm saying i can't say he said anything bad all i'm saying is that he did say it a little harsh but it's some real stuff like you know what i'm saying it is some real stuff now let me do this and i start talking about men and i start talking about women i feel like people would come for me but you know what people are coming for him at the same time but i do want to know his credentials i don't know if he is like all opinion based or he you know he went to school he studied people he studied psychology I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nothing about nothing. So if you have any more information on him, comment down below. Let your girl know so that I can check it out. Or if you have any Kevin Samuels requests or reactions, please comment them down below because your girl will check it out. Okay, because my man is entertaining. Like at the end of the day, I'm here for him. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm against him. I'm not against him. I'm not knocking him. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do, boo. Do what you do. Okay, Maddie is here for it. But I really would love to hear y'all's opinions about this video. What did you guys think about what he had to say? Did you agree with it yes no maybe so comment down below and let your girl know or if you have any other video requests make sure to comment them down below too so that your girl can check it out because i would love to check it out i love you guys so so much if you like this video can you please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and press the notification bell so you guys know when my next video is out i appreciate you guys and i love you guys so so much all the love and support you guys have been giving me literally means the world to me and i cannot thank you guys enough i hope everybody 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 has an absolute Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely amazing day. Keep being great. Keep being original. Keep being true to being you. I love you. I appreciate you. And I cannot wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.